I mean, there were a lot of problems. I mean, he was gone. His schedule for work was awful. We had different ideas about how we should be raising our kids. We were fighting all the time. Yeah. And even when we weren't fighting, um, yeah. pretty short with one another. And yeah. And kind of felt like roommates versus yeah. a lot of unrest know, within partners. our house. And yeah. I never felt like I don't like this man mm. or I don't want to be around this man, but I never felt like this is going to work. This is the man that I'm going to be with. Um, so we could, we could get through things. Okay. But we were never, that was it. We were yeah. getting through it and instead of living and rejoicing in it. And so I was feeling like I just need to wait long enough and get through it long enough until our youngest is old enough that he can be um, with dad by himself and I don't have to worry about all the little things that moms worry about so I just thought we'll just make it through this and then we'll get divorced and it'll be okay it'll be fine then we'll just start over at that point yeah, I was worried constantly um, you know and I isolated myself because of it and it didn't help anything it only made matters worse miles was starting to get to the age where he was going to start asking more questions about Christmas. And Sarah had thought it would be a, a cool idea to take him to a traditional Christian Christmas program. I had been so burned by the church that I thought it's not going to be good if it comes from me. He's going to sense all of my negativity that I have towards the church. And so better somebody else tell him this story than me. And just so happened, the people that we had purchased our home from had gotten an invite for the Christmas program in the mail, and we got their invite by accident mm -hmm. or on purpose. Um, and it was close to our house. Yeah, and it was close so to we our said, house. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Right afterwards, I was really surprised. I came from a more traditional church background, and it was unlike anything I had experienced. Um, and it was just really a warm, welcoming invite. I thought the pastor came out and said hi to us on Christmas and we're nobody. That's kind of unheard of. And um, it left a really good impression on me. And I thought um, this could be worth giving it a try, but I'm skeptical. And so I watched, I don't know, eight to 10 hours worth of sermons that were posted online because I wanted to prove that the pastor was gonna obviously put his foot in his mouth and tell me which political affiliation I should have or which group of people I shouldn't like. And he didn't. So I thought, okay, we have to go back. Plus it's pajama Sunday, so no big deal. And it's Three. been... Three years later? Three, three and a half years. and Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then we started out with fundamentals. And I think that's probably where it really solidified our move towards the missional community group that we're a part of now. Because we, we met Mark and Ann, and we met Trevor and Amber. Dave. Dave. Yeah, we made some really good connections there. After fundamentals... I think there was something on Facebook that was yeah. a book study. And so yeah. I thought that would be a good point um, maybe yeah. for us to try another approach to improving our marriage. And we liked it so much and we liked the people so much that we decided to join the missional community. The first book that we went through, there was quite a lot of angst between us still. I think they could definitely feel it. I definitely am not the type of person to withhold a whole lot that's on my mind. So as we are working through this book, um, they got to hear it. They got to hear the good, the bad, the ugly, everything about our marriage. And they were, I never felt like I was being judged. I never felt like he was being judged. Most no. importantly, as I was talking about issues that I was perceiving in our marriage. Um, and it's only grown from there where, um, I mean, we don't really argue about a whole lot anymore. We don't have a lot of no. issues that I feel like I need to bring to the group anymore, where in the beginning I was very reliant on them. They they gave me a lot of their energy. Yeah. Um, but it's so nice having a group of people that we know um, 
support our marriage and only want what's best for our marriage. Kind of before we started this path, I was really skeptical if it was something that we were going to be able to repair. I mean, we were on the verge. It was, you know, communication was gone. It was a constant battle just to keep things together in front of our kids. But little by little, things slowly got better um, with help from friends, with help from one another, and having the hard conversations that we didn't want to have before. I just feel like we've gotten so much out of our relationship with Surprise Church since we've been there. We don't always agree on everything, but we have that commonality of our Christian faith um, that kind of always brings back and centers mm -hmm. the discussions. Yeah. Um, even on Sunday mornings, you know, I never would have ever thought that we would be faithfully attending church. Like maybe when our kids get older, we'll go to church on Easter and <laughs> Christmas. But now we've, I think we've only missed a few weekends in the last three years that we've been there because I look forward to coming to church on Sunday. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm coming to church to be lectured. I'm coming for my kind of my motivational speak for, speech for the week, the the boost that I need to continue on because life's not always easy. It's not always fun or a walk in the park and when things get tough at work or at home or with our kids it's nice having that weekly reminder that um, there's a community of people that love you and that care about you and that um, you know yeah. we're all we're loved by God and in the end he's got this.